this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Sorry, you're what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How many of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Seventeen. Um, go Ducky. So, Ducky's Todd team. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. It is the best of news, and it is the worst of news. You win your tontine this year. The best and worst of news indeed. It's a sad day when your last friend dies. But then, you think about what you could do with the loot. You use it for a tropical getaway. A brief respite from this cold mountain town. Warm weather is easier on my joints. You have a great time water skiing, windsurfing, and absolutely demolishing a drunk limbo contest. Maybe you realize that death packs are really all about celebrating life. The more you live it up, the more you honor their memories. Thank you, Stephanie. This has been most amusing. You got it. Happy New Year, Ducky. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? making triple sure I get it. <laughs> We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor.
party in town. Okay, that clue's in here somewhere. Come on, callers. Or don't. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Damn, Mikey. Did you turn into such a grown-up? Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Holy shit. This is rad. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. All right, I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby plans to harvest the children for his dark magic and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. Okay, let me think. Oh, I cast seismic projection. Let's see how a tsunami tastes. Fail. What? That's an 18 with plus five spell casting. Yes and you just cast it underwater. So instead of saying seismic projection, you said blub, blubic, blub, blubption. Damn it.
Damn, Mikey. Elamon bursts into the undersea laboratory where he discovers the missing children, huddled together in fear. Called it. Okay, kiddos, you're safe. Elamon's here. Now, let's have a look around and see what this is all about. Roll for perception. Your orb of luminescence catches the glint of glass jars all along the walls. Inside... Ooh, let me guess. Pure innocence? Or laughter? Children's laughter. What? No. It's teeth. They're baby teeth. Oh. Ew. That last session was insane. But Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil Al genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? Better look at my notebook and decide how I want to set up this final battle. Done with my shift. Just in time for champagne. Hello, caller. How can I help you this evening? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, can I get a large pizza with peppers and mushrooms, please? <laughs> I'm afraid there's no pizza here. Oh, no. Did you guys run out? This keeps happening to me. This is a call-in psychic radio show. You're live on the radio, like, right now. Word. Word. Anything I can fake predict for you? Oh. Huh. Okay. So, am I gonna get my pizza tonight? I will formulate my prediction. Holy shit. A two. A super low roll for a super high collar. What does it mean? You still there? For sure. I'm not going anywhere right now. Okay, the good news is that you will, in fact, get pizza tonight. That's good. The bad news is that even you won't want to eat it. Oh, no. When you open the box, you find a completely frozen-ass pizza inside. Wait, what? It's a supermarket pizza, still frozen. How is that even possible? Sadly, your unfulfilled munchies follow you into your dreams. You find yourself haunted by the pizza that never was. Like Tantalus of old, forever grasping in vain at a pizza that seems so near, yet you will never get to taste. Bummer. Guess I better grab a burrito instead. Good choice. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the champagne. Believe your eyes, cause that won't happen twice. Blink and you'll miss it. 
All right, think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Wherever you are, Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. It's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Hola. 